my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. Now, if you're watching today's video, the day it goes live, it is Saturday, March 13th, and it's actually my birthday. And I'm telling you that because what we're going to be doing in today's video is actually unboxing my birthday present to myself. Now, as you can see here, I have the classic Chanel box in front of me. I'm making no effort here to hide this <laughs> or create any sort of suspense. That is what we're going to be unboxing today, my birthday present to myself. If you've been following me for many years, you may have picked up on the fact that I do like to treat myself to high-end items, especially around my birthday. I'm not someone who goes overboard, I feel like. I'm not someone who has like the budget or the lifestyle where I buy new designer items like every week, every month. Um, I think that's awesome if you're one of the people who can do that, and I love watching those sorts of channels. But for me, I really like to stick to, you know, buying myself, treating myself to something really pricey and really luxurious on special occasions. And my birthday happens to be one that, you know, is one of the few occasions I feel like I have to celebrate myself on a regular basis. So we are going to be unboxing this today. So first, let me go ahead and remove my coffee here that I made. I had left it in the shot because honestly, earlier on when I made it, the foam made a heart, but actually I've done a few takes of my intro at this point, so it's kind of turned into a blob, and so it is, so I will just keep this to the side because I don't want it to ruin my nice, beautiful item, but I just thought it was so pretty. I wanted to include it in the opening here. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. Some people who might be you know, familiar with Chanel items should be able to tell that this is an older style box, so this is actually a vintage item. This is not something that's new that I went to a store to purchase. This was something that was picked up on the luxury resale market. And you can see here, it is covered in a black piece of felt. There's not a dust bag or anything with this item. But as you can see, should I turn it this way? I mean, cat's out of the bag, literally. As you can see here, it is a new Chanel agenda cover. Now, I made a video all about luxury planner covers, especially my collection of Chanel ones. I think back in the fall, I can leave that link down below if you guys are interested. I do get a lot of questions about like where I find and how you, you know, buy these planners because they're not something that's readily available. Um, so this actual model is, I think it's something like 10 years old. Um, it's actually it seems to be in really good condition. It's just a little bit dusty. So I'm probably going to have to like clean it up a little bit. It is black caviar leather with silver hardware, which is basically my like Chanel ride or die combo. And yeah, it's in really great condition, especially for its age. But that's one of the reasons why I always like to stick with caviar leather because they, it really does age very well and it takes a beating very well. Um, you know, but this really doesn't look like it was probably used too much. There's a little bit of puckering around here. And I think I saw well, maybe just like very light scratching in here. But other than that, this planner is in beautiful condition. So um, you may know I already have a bunch of Chanel desk agendas. I pretty much didn't expect that I was going to be buying anymore. But when this one became available, because I do like to check from time to time and see like what's out there. I actually became really interested because this is something of, I guess you'd say like my unicorn planner cover because it's the black caviar with the silver. You know, may know if you saw my earlier video on my Chanel agendas that I have one that's incredibly similar to this. It is black lambskin with gold hardware and then the interior instead of it being black is actually the classic Chanel burgundy. So that planner is lovely and beautiful and I got that planner at a really, what I thought was a really good price for, you know, where it was at like age and usage wise. Um, but when I saw this, I just thought, you know what, for your birthday, just go ahead and buy yourself <laughs> like your unicorn. Um, usually I think these planners are really overpriced in the resale market, but I was able, like I, it was just kind of a fluke, you know, you check, you find one and um, you know, it's pretty much my dream planner. So let's go ahead and get this planner set up. Okay. 
Okay, so that is the setup in the new Chanel agenda cover. Obviously, nothing about my actual planner has changed. I'm still using, you know, half letter, disc bound with these lovely aluminum black discs, which I just think like blend into the planner so seamlessly. Nothing has really changed very much in my planner system itself. So I'm not going to go ahead and walk through that today. But I will probably do an updated planner tour if that's something you guys are interested sometime in the near future. So leave me a comment down below if you're interested in that. In the comments, let me know what planner system or planner cover you are currently using at the moment. I know us planner girls like to switch out our systems and our binders and all that fun stuff. So let me know what your current system is in the comments. One final reminder I wanted to include in this video before we leave is that next Saturday, March 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern time, I'm actually hosting another one of my free live business planning workshops. So if you are someone who is interested in starting a business or has already started a business and would like to know more about creating a very strategic CEO strategy business plan that gets your business moving in the right direction, your income growing, your community growing, and all of that wonderful stuff, please make sure to mark your planners for next Saturday at 2 p.m. And if you'd like email reminders, I can leave you a link in the description where you can get on my email list because I will be sending out the direct links via email. So I do hope to see many of you live next week for that CEO strategy workshop. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anyone you think would find it interesting. For more of behind the scenes of my productivity life and business, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye-bye.